going to be trying out this new pot kettle from Sea to Summit. Learning about it, but uh, has looks like some sort of alloy surface. Pretty cool. Just made some breakfast here, uh, and uh, it's pretty simple breakfast actually, but uh, I just wanted to test out and see how this pot did for um, all sorts of things, like how quickly I can get water to heat, that's kind of like the number one, but also just like heat retention, and then when I'm all finished with this, how easy will this be to clean? But uh, one of the things that I've noticed right off the bat is that water that I've let sit in the pot after I've boiled it, it actually retains the heat quite a bit longer than say in a titanium alloy uh, or some sort of other metal pot where the heat diffuses really fast. These silicone walls are actually doing a really good job of keeping the heat in. And uh, so coming back to hot water that I boiled five, 10 minutes ago, it's still warm. And uh, that's, that's, a, that's a bonus. So I'm just doing a really simple backpackers classic style of cleaning. Just adding a little bit of water uh, to the pot and then just using my spoon to scrape around and then drinking the water with the food particles. And uh, it's cleaned up really nice. So actually the silicone walls um, are really supple, which makes it actually really easy to clean. This was actually not only fun to use, but it was really efficient and uh, kept food warm, kept hot water warm, kept hot water hot uh, for a, lot, a long time. And then obviously just things with weight concerns and cleanability, some of the practical aspects of, uh, of an item like this. Uh, all of those things uh, passed with flying colors. So I love the fact that it doesn't take up a big part of my backpack. It's literally just like a saucer. And uh, it's just as light, if not lighter, than some of the other pots that I've used in the past. So uh, this thing is pretty awesome. Definitely would recommend that. X-Pot from Sea to Summit.